When I'm throwing bellied mugs, I usually throw on bats. It saves me touching them while they're still wet. That, clean it all. Now the height of my mugs I'm throwing to 11 centimetres. Just make sure that my measure is right. Make sure my bat is just moist. So that's the bottom of the clay. Down. Now what I've got to do is get that running true. So what I'm going to do is mainly use my left hand and go in like this. Okay, so what I'm actually doing is with my left hand getting into a cone and then I'll take it down again. So those fingers wrap right around the side and I'm using that part of my thumb there. The other hand just comes in and supports and really cleans up the bottom down here. So again, we'll just come into a cone and then I'll take that down again. So those fingers are locked there. I'll push the cone clay down, get it running reasonably true. So what I'll do is open it up now, put the base in. So I'll go down with my thumb and I'll push with those two fingers then when I'm down as far as I want to be I'll draw the clay back so that it gives me a base. Right, we'll go down and I'll draw the clay back. Now I'll come back a little bit wider than I want the base to be inside. That way I can compress the base by pushing that thumb back in over the base I'm pressing it all and I know it's compressed all the way to the outside of the outside wall. So now I want to throw the pot, fix the walls up. So what I'm going to do is, mainly with the left hand again, is just squeeze those two together. Use that finger, just that straight side there to keep the wall straight. And what I'm going to do is just turn the thumb over like that. So, and I'll push also, start pushing the base in so the walls move back over the base. And this thumb stays on top of the wall and just lets it rise evenly. So now I've got my cone shape that I'm looking for. Now I'll start to throw. I'll use that finger inside and I'll use this one outside. What I'll do is push that in there so that I get a ridge. I will curl that back over the thumb and then just use that knuckle there to draw the walls up. These two hands will be connected so that they move in unison. Now I want the walls to be just a couple of millimetres higher than the measure because I'm going to make it a bellied and that will drop the walls down. So I'll clean up the base now. And I will start to belly out the walls. What I'll use is a steel rib and so I'll go into the bottom first and just use that edge and just push out to the rib. So now I've got the bottom fixed up. I'll curl the rib like this and use it sideways. And so you can see that there's a, a curve there already. So we'll push into that curve. A couple of times. Now I'll just put a bit of a mark in here where it's we're going to have a collar. So now I'll go in and take the slip out from inside. Comp 
press the top a little bit. Just curl this finger over the top so that the rim still remains true. And now I'll just just give that the outward curve that I'm looking for. Now to give me a smooth rim, I'll just use a bit of wide sticky tape that was on the bags of clay to seal them up. So I'll use those two fingers on the outside, thumbs just contain the tape on the inside and just drape that over the top. Now that'll give me a smooth rim. Just check the sh shape. Clean up the bottom again. And I'll use a bit of fishing line to just cut the pot off from the bat. Lift the bat up take the whole thing off the wheel. Thank you. 